All right, so here we go. I got the uh, A&D scale set up here, the FX120i. And this is actually the same uh, uh, case that I've been using in my other test. So you can see it's nice and zeroed out. Got the exact same powder I've been using, the same old uh, CFE223. There's the deal and set up, ready to go. And I messed up and forgot my computer at home, but fortunately I'm able to use my mom's iPad. So <laughs> I've got it, uh, I got it pulled up here on the same spreadsheet. And uh, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see how she does. So I'm gonna get rolling and then I'll probably check in with you midway through. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try not hooking up the return spring and then hooking up the return spring to see if that makes much of a difference on the deal. And so uh, that'll probably be the two biggest tests or the two biggest variables. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep the powder level within the width of that tape to like I've been doing on the others, just so the powder level kind of stays consistent. Now with the Dillon, the baffle is built in. Uh, I don't think you can take it out unless there's some kind of way of removing that, uh, the screw and removing the baffle from it, but I'm not going to. Uh, it seems like the baffles help anyway, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get started here and we'll see how she does. All right, so here we are about halfway through the the first 25 tests um, with no spring, 2786. Oh, whoops. I must have forgot to hit enter on that one. Okay. Now we got it. 27.86. Yep, there we go. Taking me just a little bit of getting used to here uh, working the keypad on the on the iPad and uh, having to switch hands. 2790. 2790. Okay. Now y'all get the gist of this. I'll check back in with you here in a few minutes if anything exciting happens. <laughs> okay. Now I've hooked the return spring up. Uh, let's check the zero on my case. Yep, we're still zeroed. And I'm going to cycle this thing just a time or two here. Uh, just because <laughs> that's how much more violent um, the uh, the powder measure is shook when the, uh, when the spring's installed. So I'm going to give it like about three, three cycles there. Um, just to kind of try to get the powder settled so all right let's start let's start weighing some here 2782 I also uh, added a little more powder back uh, from where it ran down from the first 25 charges I weighed. 2782. 2782, dang. The other test I did was good, but it wasn't quite this good. Twenty-seven 
27.68. That's the first time I've seen it drop down below 0.7. All right, so I'm gonna carry on like usual here, 27.8. And uh, I'll touch back with you if uh, anything uh, comes up. All right, so I had such good results on the first 25 charges that I weighed uh, where I was not running the return spring. I'm going to go ahead and run another 25 and just see if the results stay, uh, stay the same. And that'll probably do it for me on this one. I think, uh, I think I've tried enough different stuff to have a pretty good idea of, uh, of how it does. So... Uh, got my case zeroed back out and the uh, powder hopper filled back up. I'll probably cycle three or four rounds again with the with the spring unhooked before I actually begin to start weighing just so things can kind of get settled down um, the way they're going to be ran for the next 25 charges and uh, and that'll be it. So I'll check back in with you here in, here in a second or two. All right, I'm just about done here. Uh, let's check the zero of my case. Yep, still right on the money. So we'll do these last, these last four or five together here. Twenty seven eighty six. Twenty-seven eighty-eight. I think this is the last one. Twenty-seven eighty-two. All right, that does it, I believe. And you can see I kept the powder level sort of around the around the little piece of tape there, and. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get all this stuff, uh, put away and, uh, and get back to the, to the house and pull the spreadsheet up on my computer and we'll go over the results. All right, here we are at the data. Uh, so the different things I tried was no return spring. Then I put the return spring on and then I tried no return spring again. Uh, dropped a total of 75 charges and... I felt like that was pretty conclusive. Um, so here we are. The um, uh, on the on the first set here um, had a ES of only 0.18 and a standard deviation of 0.044. Uh, so that was that was pretty good. Um, let's see over here. Then with the return spring. Uh, you know, it didn't make a whole lot of difference on the ES. Uh, the ES only changed by two hundredths. Um, the standard deviation was 0.05, so just slightly worse than that. So I saw that my results with no spring seemed to be a little bit better, so that's why I wanted to try it again, drop another 25 to have a total of 50 uh, with the no spring. So, and again, look at that. Uh, ES of 0.18 um, and a standard deviation of uh, 0.047 so only slightly worse on the standard deviation um, <clears throat> so this is the average of all 50 of the no spring uh, is is this area right here so standard deviation of 0.046 and an ES of 0.22 and then this over here is just an overall of the entire spreadsheet, you know, averaging in 
the the 25 here that had the return spring uh, functioning so you know again take that with a grain of salt it's just kind of it's not not a very not a very significant number because our variables change so much but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I think this pretty much kind of wraps it up for my, uh, all the different powder measures I wanted to test. Uh, I'll probably make one more video just kind of going in depth, um, comparing all four that I reviewed, um, just so, um, just so it's, it's its own standalone video. Um, but, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think this, uh, this wraps it up. So again, thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you um, liked and subscribed to my channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be talking to you soon.